and Jeanette. Yay, we're here at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. Yay! So we're here, we're going to do the update for uh, Fast and the Furious, Voodoo Donuts, and we're going to try and get a few secret tours uh, here at the park. One Men in Black and the other one being the Mummy. And um, Whatever else yeah, might come Yeah, I mean, there's a few other things I want to check out, but not sure if we're going to get to it, so I don't want to get your guys' hopes up. So we're going to stick to those uh, few things that I just said, and we're going to head on to the park and see what we can get into. And just remember, guys, if you want to follow us on Facebook, we can let you know every weekend where we were going to be at yes. what park. Uh, Friday, usually Friday, Thursday or Friday, we post on our Facebook page, the Theme Park Junkies on Facebook, uh, where we're going to be, where we're going to be filming, or what our itinerary is going to be. So in case you want to follow us or come out and hang out with us, uh, we do do that for our fans. So jump on over to our Facebook page and uh, follow us there. And all right guys, we're here doing the Voodoo Donut update. And I'm kind of bummed out because that window right over there, they didn't have no plastic on it. I was able to get a view of the whole entire interior of this new building. Um, and the footage was extraordinary. I was able to see stuff I didn't think I'd be able to see. And unfortunately, that footage was corrupted on my memory card. So, I come back to get you that footage and plastic up. So, I don't have the interior of Voodoo Donuts no more. But I can tell you that the interior was uh, coming together quite nicely. Um, it wasn't nowhere near finished, but... Um, it was shaping up so unfortunately like I said I don't have the photos anymore to show you so uh, that's all we have I mean they do have uh, all the supplies inside for the stucco mortar tile um, the last two weeks I was here I talked to a foreman and said um, all the planograms were here and uh, all supplies were on site and that the job was moving along quite nicely and that it was guaranteed to be open on or before the Fast and the Furious ride. So let's see what happens with that guys. I'll keep you posted as I find out more. Alright, well I know I just did an update but I gotta do a secondary update real quick. So if you look there is a few people standing right over there. Well, they are the flooring guys. So they are currently laying the tile floor down right now. So uh, I just found that out and I wanted to update you because I just found out. All right guys, so we just made it into the park and there's Hello Kitty. And uh, we're standing here right in front of Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. And the ride time is 55 minutes, Shrek 4D, 25 minutes. So, let's head on into the park and see if we can get some of those secret tours we came here for. that you could do the immigration tour at Men in Black and so we asked and they said they were really busy it's Saturday they couldn't do it but we came back again and asked and uh, they said yeah they could give us the secret immigration tour so we're just sitting here waiting up here by the child swap area is where they hold you and um, we're going to start our tour in just a few minutes well thank you to our right. Uh, before we enter through this very secretive door here, I do have a few big rules for you guys. You can be two aliens inside, Bob and his twin brother, Vanax. They're actually monitoring all the aliens here on Earth. They should not do anything bad or break any alien rules or like that. I'm also going to be a deck of playing cards on the table on our left-hand side once you walk in. Um, this visual game is Agent Poker, actually. So there's money on the line. So when I throw up their poker game, uh, they should come back. and be pretty upset we trust their cards. So head on right on this way. 
So in here, like I said, we have the two twins, Bob and Manax. Uh, we actually have the Simon sheet right there, that front desk. Guys, the sign. Let me know you guys are here. Uh, we got all these shaped chairs up here on our left hand side as well. All these shaped chairs actually are quite comfortable. You guys are more than welcome to sit in the other than that, like I said, the desk as well. Feel free to take any photos. Like I said, you're recording the room, so you guys can join in. Um, of course, you have the rest of the guests staring at you. Because you have VIP status. Um, like I said, here is our sign in sheet. Just make sure you guys follow the information at the top. Because if I find any wrong information on this paper, you have to be neuralized. I have to go to you guys. Yes, you like nice people? Yes. I do not want to be neuralized. All right, theme park junkie fans, we are down here. We'll help you get over the memories of your Christmas. Thank you for buying this. Your mind is back in your carousel meetings. Enjoy your stay. Attention all MIB trainees. Your success in new agents will be determined by your ability to identify and target all the right. of the Ready to sign the book? Please observe on screen of that. I don't know. She just finished up with the guest room. Just make sure Officially made it to the boat, guys. Many of you may be wondering, are red the aliens really that common here on Earth? After all, how many tentacles does one see in a day? And that's precisely the point. Before they get here, they'll find this. Then, with a little help from our makeover department, they can end up looking like this. But that line of as the twins pull up a little gym from our past. I mean, the detail down here is crazy. Sure, they look like ordinary citizens walking down their ordinary streets, living their ordinary lives. So look, they even have a profile here on the Transformers. Bumblebee. Hey guys, do not give up, do you? All right, look, I'll tell you a little something. Something big going on around here. All right, theme park junkie fans, we actually made it down here on the secret tour. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll get some snapshots, too. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll get you more secret footage. Uh, like I said, I like to point out Grandma over here. She does look a little suspicious. Yeah, she has a blue eye on here as well. You got antenna sky, you got a bunch of aliens in the plate sign. This goes to show us aliens are always hitting boxes. Make your blue eyes off. Detail, blue eyes. Exactly, exactly. Normal duties. Yeah, Pretty cool playing cards. I guess so, uh, when you're from another planet. All right, well, our tour here is done down in the Men in Black. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And become one of the best of the best of the Men in Black. We'll soon be trained in a variety of All right, guys. Absolutely, yes. That's why you're here, you might as well. Take the VIP experience, right? I just grabbed you guys a walker downstairs for your uh, bags of cups. Thank you. You guys read this ride before? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I
the experience. Yeah. Only two floors, so we'll do some deep. <laughs> All right, so we just got down the elevator. And uh, we're getting front of the line access. You got to stop. I'm gonna go on the ride. All right, guys. So we just finished the secret tour and got the front of the line access to ride the ride. All the special privileges. It was really cool. We got to go behind doors we've never been before, behind the curtains. So uh, yeah, it was definitely neat. If you ever get a chance to uh, come out here and find the right person and ask for the immigration tour. You can find yourself down there signing the book just like they, we did. They did say the best times is to do it early in the morning. Yeah, but somehow or another it is Saturday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and we were still able to do it. So, just luck of the draw. All right, if guys. one tells you no, wait yeah. again and ask again. Yeah, I mean we asked three people over the course of like 25 30 minutes and finally found somebody that was willing to uh call somebody on a radio and get us the tour so all right well we did that one we're gonna actually try to go over to the mummy and get their secret tour it's actually called the production tour and uh, they take you behind the scenes and actually under the roller coaster um, of the mummy from what I understand so I'm anxious to go over there and see if we can get them to give us that one. Just another extremely crowded Saturday afternoon here at Universal. Are we going to uh, Dagon Alley? I'm wasn't sure. All right, well, I think we'll probably go over and do the Fast and the Furious update, and then go to Dagon Alley, or go to Dagon Alley first, and then Fast and the Furious update. Do the Fast and the Furious update. All right, well, we're heading over to Fast and the Furious. All right, well, we're in the phone booth here, and let's see if this works. All right, we have a dial tone. So pretty much all it said was that the uh, <laughs> Department of Ministries was busy and wasn't accepting any phone calls at the moment. But it did work, so. Hey guys, we are here at the Fast and the Furious Supercharged ride and uh, I got a picture of Dom's car right there behind this. black tarp so his car is here and um, as far as ride updates concerned um, I'm hearing a rumor only rumor March 20th as a opening day I don't know if it's true or not but um, you know it could be so um, we'll keep you posted on as far as uh, what we hear as you know opening day is concerned or soft opening day and um, they're, they're really almost done. They, they, they got rid of a lot of equipment that was here in the previous weeks because last week they were actually doing hydraulic works on the ride and um, now I don't see those trucks here that were working on the hydraulics. So I'm assuming that the ride itself is actually pretty much done. Um, it's probably a lot of cosmetic work that they're finishing up. So that's as far as we know for right now guys. So 
stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the updates here at Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, Bush Gardens, Aquatica, uh, Aquatica and uh, it just keeps going. So stay tuned. They are currently working on the uh, construction of what used to be the Dueling Dragons. They actually, the cranes are moving and working. So, major construction has started. Gonna try her first one here at Jokes, Tricks, Toys, and Games. All right, you got it, man. Did you look at your spell? All right, we're gonna grab some lunch here at the Three Brooms. Mmm, look at all that to feast on. All right, like I said, we're here at the uh, Three Brooms and um, we usually get baked potatoes and go about our day. As you can see, the baked potato is not on the menu, so you actually have to ask for a baked, side. yeah, a side baked potato, and they're two dollars and ninety-nine cents or three dollars, I don't know, something like that. So they're really cheap, and uh, it's something you can eat here, pretty healthy and uh, not very expensive. So that's here at the Three Brewers. They are part of the... They're rude. They're very, very rude. And a 
don't know if you're an Indian or something. Who cares? But they are part of the Dalek group, which plus related to Burke, which explains all of the squawking. Uh, they do lay eggs of about two pounds each. Uh, they then incubate for about 90 days before hatching, and once they are born, they are born fully formed, just like miniature adults, and just like miniature adults, they even have really, 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 really terrible manners. That's why she keeps interrupting me. But they also have really, really sharp, tiny teeth and cl claws. That's why when I go to pick her up, I need to be very careful. Because those teeth that are inside of her mouth are about as sharp as miniature fish hooks. If I get too close, she grabs onto one of my fingers, I'm going to have a very bad day. So, uh, to avoid having a bad day, I'm just going to try to stay away from her face here. I know, sweetheart. I know. There we go. Alright, now this little girl right here will mature very, very rapidly. Becoming an adult in just about one year. So one year from today, this little girl will be anywhere between 6 feet and 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing anywhere between 150 and 200 pounds. Do you have a question? What's your question? What was that? Right now, it's because she still she still has that embryonic fluid in there, and it's kind of like a gluey kind of thing. We actually have to clean it out for her to open up her hands right now, because her muscles aren't strong enough to rip through that uh, embryonic fluid. So when we take it to the back and we clean her up, we'll be able to do that. Uh, but it does look like this little girl's off to a great start, don't you guys think? No. Oh, and uh, speaking of great start, this becomes something of a tradition. And whenever we have a hatching, we allow our guests, that is you guys, the first crack I name here. So, does anybody out there want to give this little girl a name? Just raise your hand. Do you want to give her a name, buddy? Do you want to give her a name? No? Are you sure? That's fine. Anybody want to give her a name? There's no age limit. Anybody give her a name? Oh, you wanted to give her a name? No, you don't? I saw you. You wanted to give her a name. What do you want to name her? What was that? Hey, hey, I'm trying to listen to him. Just scream it real loud right up here. Lola. Lola? Like Lola Bunny. I like it. Lola. Do you like Lola? I think she likes it. Lola? What about it's Peter? Good. What about Peter? Peter? Lola it is. Alright, now I do have to take little Lola away, but if you guys have any other questions that any other discovery guys done, would you like Dr. Rose over there? We may not exactly be paleobiologists, but we do wear the exact same lab coats that they do, so we should know a little bit of something. So everyone, wave goodbye to Lola, Jurassic Park's new Sandy and Terry. Goodbye. I'm happy to discover again. You, sir, you're going to want to talk to Dr. Rose. There's something special for you. Yep, so if you name the dinosaur, you actually get a birth certificate with the name um, that you named it, and you get to keep the birth certificate. So we just got to watch that in the Discovery Center here at Jurassic Park.
minions. They're so cute. That's definitely fun. So, we are definitely trying to get over to the mummy to do that production tour. So, uh, we keep getting sidetracked every time we are going to get over there. We do something else or get into a parade or a phone booth. So, we're trying to head over there right now. But look, we're going to get sidetracked again because more Mardi Gras stuff. I got to go check it out. Oh, is the Mardi Gras food open? I want some. So, let's go check that out. So this is the branch corridor, I believe they call it. So right down here on the very end, there is a restaurant or a food vendor that me and my wife really like. And it is the Twisted Tater and Cajun Stuffed Pocket. The Twisted Tater. Okay, so if you don't know what a Twisted Tater is, it is a whole potato cut spirally and put on a stick, deep fried, and then sprinkled with your choice of toppings. Now, they are $7, but they are well worth it. And if you do come out here, I would suggest you at least try one. Actually, all the food down here is really good, but that's one of our favorites. Anything that has to do with Oh, hey, this is kind of new. I don't remember them having a psychic reading center. But, um, I mean, we were here last week and I, I didn't see it. But Oh, and tattoos. Alright, guys, so, if you are, don't already know this, the rip... Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket Roller Coaster has a secret. And the secret is, is when you get on the ride, right when they buckle you up, you're gonna wanna push the Rip Rocket Roller Coaster logo for 10 seconds. And after that 10 seconds, you're gonna get a screen with a keypad. It's gonna allow you to enter a three digit code. There is a list, if you go online, that will tell you all the songs. There's 60 extra songs that you can play just simply by knowing the secret three-digit code. So uh, I'll attach a link to the video, and uh, that's it. All right guys, just an update. It's about seven o'clock at night. We're getting ready to do the uh, parade, and uh, they're doing a concert tonight, so. We're just wandering around, and um, sorry, we're uh, trying to get over here to the French uh, French uh, courtyard so we can get that uh, crispy potato twist that we were talking about. And uh, since we're using our fast passes, uh, we're going to be going over and uh, doing the mummy and seeing if we can get that um, that back backstage tour. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that. Pretty much this is what it looks like over here in the uh, French courtyard in the evening when it's packed. And so we're making our way through to get that potato. All right, well, we're in line to get the twisted tater. Oh, there it is. Uh, we 
get a view of it. Got a glimpse. Hi. Hi. Uh, season salt. Season salt. Yeah. All right. And it looks yummy. Thank you. Yeah, lovely day. Oh, can we get them? They're our favorite. Things are gigantic. If you ever get a chance, you gotta come try them. All right, guys. After doing a lot of work, we did get the production tour um, to happen for the mummy. We're just waiting for the guy to come out and get us and then take us in. And we're actually gonna be the only two on this tour. They're, they're doing it special for us because we're the theme park junkies. So even though Saturday night, fully crowded, full of people, they don't normally do it, we get it done. There is some footage that we cannot get. Yeah, that's gonna be under the roller coaster. We can't film under the coaster. Uh, but we will be able to film everything else, so stay tuned. We're going to get all that footage for you here in just a minute. Ride and under the ride. Okay. Anything in between that, you're all set. All right. So this right here, this is the first Easter egg right here, guys. If you look right there, that's a scarab. If you cover the wings on that, you're going to see King Kong space in the center. Wow. Do you see it? You see the teeth, the nose, the eyes. It's got some wrinkles because he's kind of angry. Oh yeah, you do see it. So on the ride and in the queue we have, I believe, three or four of these. And I'll point those out to you while we ride it in, in the queue. Alright, well everybody's going that way. Well, we get to go this way. So have you guys ever been in our extended queue? No. So this is our extended queue starts right here. Let's say you come during Christmas time. This is going to definitely be where you come through. Um, and you're going to wait about two and a half hours for a three minute ride. So if you're into that, you can definitely join us here and, and wait. Um, so right here, these are props from the original Mummy movie back in 1932. Um, I'm not sure if the Mummy right here is real from, from that time, but they say the sand is from the time of that movie, but I, I doubt anyone's going to keep sand. <laughs> um, it'll be kind of silly, but the shields and the weapons here are definitely from the 1932 original movie. Wow. They talk about this movie in our horror makeup show, if you ever go see that. Um, it's a pretty funny show, I definitely recommend that. Um, that show always makes me laugh because they like to do the PG-13 kind of stuff, you know, it's a little bit more adult. Um, this right here, this is not even the films, but um, it was used for the promotion of the ride and people would take pictures with this all the time and it's in our queue, so this is the first piece of actual stuff that you can touch on the ride. This right here, we call this the blue room. This is all the blueprints and architecture that was used to create the queue. Um, you see this cat right there? Yeah. That cat right there, you're going to see that later on in our queue. It's in the center of our queue. You see it as a golden cat. I'm sure you've seen it before, yeah. and that um, all the stuff in our queue has been planned out, and it's right there. There you have a full size statue of Emo Tep. A lot of people like to come here and they take pictures of him right there. Um, this room and the ones that we're headed into now. This right here, this is the gold room. This room and the blue room we were just in, they are taken away from us during Halloween Horror Nights, and they use them for the Halloween Horror Nights store. And um, if you notice on the door there, there's still some paint left over from last year. But um, yeah, they take over our queue, and that's why our wait time can get a little bit longer. Like, at least our queue will get a little bit shorter. And um, they'll fill it up with more people because we don't have much queue left. Um, so this right here, these are storyboards that were used to uh, create the films. Uh, this is my least favorite scene in the movie when he's spitting out the bugs from his mouth. That always creeps me out. It's got the symbol on it. The men drive is supposed to be the warriors who swore to protect man the mummy. The Roger! So when you're entering this right here, it's going to be about an hour and 45-ish, hour and a half. Wait to get on the ride. So that guy right there on the 
video. He is the guy that's captured in the very beginning of our ride. His name is Reggie. He's a production assistant. And as you can see there in that scene, he gave away his Medjai symbol, which is what protects you from the curse. And in him doing that, he gets captured by Emotep, and that's why he's in the beginning of our ride. So cool. he's the one going, You're insane. Get out of here. The curse is real. So this room was dedicated to the main characters in the movie. We have Brendan Fraser over there. We have the leader of the med right here. We have Emotep right here. Um, and if you hear about Brendan Fraser nowadays, let me know because I haven't heard of him. Yeah, nobody has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this right here, this is the black room. Nothing much goes on in here. I definitely think they should do something to this room. But when you're in this room, you have got a 45 minute wait to get on there. Definitely never been in this queue house. Oh yeah. Wow. Our wait time doesn't get too long, and I'll explain why that why that is later on during the tour. Any questions so far? Anything? No, man, we're doing good. Uh, it's been very intriguing. I, I've learned a lot. I've been wanting to do this tour for quite some time. So that door right there and that door right there, those pair up together. Um, those were used in the films as well. I'm, uh, I'm not actually sure what scenes they were used in, but they were definitely used in the movies. Um, so the storyline of the ride, you're coming on set for the new Mummy movie and you're going to be an extra. And so what happens is the curse takes its course and then you end up in ancient Egypt and Emotep ends up taking your soul. So if that's what you're into, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you can see, a lot of people just walk right past it because they're not sure what they're looking at. But this is real wardrobe that was used in the movie. That right there, that's what the leader of the Magi wears in the film. And um, yeah, we have all these production cages, that's what we call them here. And this next cage here is a little bit darker because we're doing some of my first mentors. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'm not sure if you can see right through here, Yeah. but these are the molds that we use to create the animatronics on the ride. These are the molds they use in Hollywood, you know? So what they do with these, they clean them, they fill them up with the plaster or whatever they're going to use, whatever material they need, and they can make a mummy from scratch out of nowhere, you know? Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so, they'll have different um, inserts. Like if, if you look into that, into that one right there, okay. you can see that little cylinder piece in the center. Um, that's used for the fog effect on the ride. So when Reggie is captured, Emotep takes his soul and a blue light comes out of his mouth. That's his soul. And that's how they inserted that, was with that cylinder right there. Maybe you can try it. So you get it from up there. Yeah, there we go. Yep, I see it now. But that's how they insert the mechanism for uh, um, the visual effects on the ride. Wow, cool. So right this way. Here we have a chariot that was used in the movies. Um, in real life, what this would be used for is it would transport a mummy from its ritual chamber to its burial chamber. Um, and they'll just transport bodies this way, I guess. Pretty much it right here. <laughs> An old hearse. Pretty much. Yeah. So now we're transporting into ancient Egypt. Now you start noticing some changes in the queue. It's over here.
That was pretty cool. I never knew that. safe with that. <laughs> so this is the golden cat that we saw earlier in the queue. Yeah. You guys can come right in here. Oh, thank you. And take a look right there. Special access. Wow. So right here what you're looking at, this is the blueprint of the RV that you're riding. Okay. Um, these right here. tokens that were um, at the arcade in the 90s back when Pong was so those were the tokens that were used if you look closely on those yeah you can see yeah it actually says Kong yep wow that's pretty cool that's another Easter egg yeah so those are the, the old Kong Backstage where nobody gets to go. So, another little Easter egg. This right here, it looks like a sword, but it's really a banana. If you look closely, it's a banana, and that's for Kong. Oh, wow. Soldiers are holding bananas. This one looks more of like a knife, but it's still the it's same a, same idea. So I don't think they were gonna do too much damage with a banana, but it was really cool that yeah. they put it in there. All right, so now we're going under the rider. Okay, so this is where we're gonna shut it off, guys. I'm sorry I can't take any more video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll let you know what I see. All right, guys, we just finished the production tour. Um, it was phenomenal. 
We got to go under the ride. Uh, we got to watch all the workings of the roller coaster in The Mummy. Uh, we got to see all the special effects. We got VIP treatment. We were escorted onto the ride. Hang on a second while all these people are yelling. All right, they're done. All right, so as we were saying, they, they pointed out all the Easter eggs on the ride, all the homages to King Kong, considering King Kong used to be in this uh, studio. And then they tore it down to make the mummy. Like I said, it was phenomenal. It was fun. If you ever get a chance to do the production tour, do the production tour. You will learn so much about the ride. And not only learn stuff, you will get some really, really, really back access passes. So, highly recommend it. Hidden in my back of my closet And I'll turn them up to ten And then I'll play them all again I felt my independence Can't believe I never lost it What you wanted Ain't it? It's what you wanted Park Junkie fans, it's been a great night here at Universal Studios Orlando. We did all the secrets that uh, you can do here, um, but we did find out more in the middle of doing some of the uh, secret things. So uh, we did the Fast and the Furious update, we did the Voodoo Donut update, we did the Men in Black uh, immigration tour, we also got on the Mummy uh, production tour. That was awesome. That was really cool. Uh, we did the Rip Rock and Roller Coaster secret where you get to push the button and pick your own song out of a list of uh, 60 songs. We picked Eminem 303. Uh, actually it was 306. Oh 306. 306. So if you hold the button down for 10 seconds a little screen comes up and you can type in 306 and you can listen to uh, Eminem. Eminem. Um, but there's a, there's a uh, list of songs I'll attach for you. There's 60 of them. Uh, also, uh, we found out um, on the production tour that um, there is uh, a lot of updates going on in the park uh, and that a March 20th opening or soft opening for the Fast and the Furious is not so far-fetched. Um, it might actually be. So Voodoo Donuts is going to be done before Fast and the Furious from what we understand um, because they are laying tile in there now. And also, they are uh, finishing up a lot of the stuff on the Fast and the Furious ride. It's roughly been a little over a year, a year and a half, but um, they're saying March 20th uh, could be some soft opening there. I can't know. wait to ride that ride. That's going to yeah. be so awesome. Yeah. And uh, it is going to be a little bit like the one in Hollywood. Uh, they tweaked it a little bit. Um, but it is still going to be like that one. And, and also, it's similar to Kong. And similar to Kong, from what, from what we understand now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget, please subscribe. We need subscribers. Unfortunately, with the new YouTube policy, we need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours. Um, but regardless if we ever make the 1,000 or the 4,000 hours, we're we still, still have fun doing this. We still have fun. We're still going to do these videos. But please, support us. Give us those 1,000 subscribers. So until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends, guys. Have, have a good a night. Bye-bye. We'll see you at the theme parks.